We now take a look at our forecast here at home with meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez, who is reporting from home today. And Lisette, the big story has been this heat. Yes, and it is almost unbearable and hard to believe that we're dealing with this kind of heat so early in the season, especially since it's technically still spring, but feeling more like summer. So here's a view from our Key West camera. The sun is shining bright and helping to heat us up. As we take a look at the satellite and radar, it would be nice if we had some rain. We need it for our drought conditions and also to help break the heat a little bit, bring us a little relief. But at least we have that breeze out of the southeast, 10 to 16 miles an hour. And temperatures already into the upper 80s in Broward, Miami-Dade and through the Keys. You add in the humidity and it is feeling like the mid to upper 90s. So not only stay home because it's safer, but because it is cooler when you get to enjoy that air conditioning. Very thankful for that. Taking a look at the rest of the U.S., dealing with the threat for severe weather across parts of North Florida and also some active weather pushing through portions of the Tennessee Valley into the Mid-Atlantic. But really today, that slight risk of severe weather will be for the Big Bend, the Panhandle, Florida, and also a marginal risk of severe storms for parts of Central Florida and even in through portions of Georgia. For us, the light shade of green indicating that there could be a few thunderstorms developing with the heating of the day. So highs climbing to 90 degrees, similar to yesterday, we could be near or tying or breaking even a few records as the old record in Miami is 91 and in Fort Lauderdale, the same in Key West, the old record 87 degrees. And as you already saw, it's feeling like the mid to upper 90s for some inland areas could even feel like the triple digits later this afternoon. Afternoon, so please be safe if you want to take a little break in your backyard or take a walk. Do it in the evening hours. No advisories for boaters. Seas two to five and a light chop on the base tonight. Warm and humid, mostly clear. As we head into your Wednesday, it is going to be another sizzling day with highs around 90 degrees. And then finally, as we get into Thursday, Friday, late week, a front will move in and bring our temperatures down. Highs will be in the upper 80s, and we'll see a better chance of spotty storms even as we head into the weekend. But but then it looks like by Sunday into Monday, we may be back in the 90s. That's the extended weather cast from here from my home. Back to you in the studios, Carly.